sixty percent. So you know, I'm saying. He's, you know, speaking of 50 to 60 percent combos this man ain't doing anything at all with the steve as a matter of fact he's gonna go with the mario i actually kind of like this idea because i saw this matchup not that long ago with uh versus john numbers i'll tell you what you were talking about 50 minute sets off stream sure as hell it's the same way before uh, we're looking at some pixelated stuff right now in our view but we can see that the mario strings have already begun and jake is not letting off you know what? I actually like this pick versus the Wii Fit. Uh, the point being is that, you know, we want to we want to make the Wii Fit like real uncomfortable, make the Wii yeah. Fit like not able to set up on ledge like they usually want to, especially with the with the shenanigans that is like uh, the shenanigans that is what is that? Uh, Deep breathing. The thing, the volleyball and things of that nature, because that's when the real cheese comes out. So exactly. It's gonna be it's yeah, going to be on Jake to make sure you keep up the pressure. Extra Parmesan for me. And one of the things that you want to deal with as a character like Steve is people who have to approach you. But when you have characters who also are content with chilling back, you have a problem. That, I, that's why I like this Mario pick too. Because J-Ray would have been completely fine if you're sitting there on the other side of the screen and just saying, oh, you're going to let me get deep breathing and full sun salutation ready to go? Cool. I, I'm, I'm completely chill with that. Yeah, and uh, already we see this man, uh, uh, Jake, just establishing down. There's 123, 123, 133% on J-Ray, and J-Ray just can't get the offense going for, you know, the obvious reason of Mario smothering you. And, like, one thing that in this matchup, you know, J-Ray has to be wary of is the projectiles. But, I mean, oh, okay, a little floating fireball up fast. All right, Jake, very nice this to see you, Mario. This is a no-fly zone. You never want to be anywhere near the Mario cast directly above him on kill percents. That is just the most consistent thing they're going to go for. We talk about Sunday. Bless beyond that up smash that I read the book every single week. And, oh, ooh, ooh, almost oh, busted on the spike too. Try to catch him with the forward air. Now you got to be careful because Jake has a stock up. This is a borrow time stock. Be willing to trade. Try to catch that side B off stage. You said the, 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 you said the dunk contest was today too. Blessing him with more platform combos. And he <laughs> barely missed the up B. I'm not sure if that would have been a uh, uh, kill, but that definitely uh, would have been bad news bears but my man j ray just not getting a stock off yet and look now we see the all around this that is mario and we're just gonna kick the volleyball right back bro i know we're not supposed to use our feet this game but damn okay well, i mean are you, are you sure are you sure they use that foot to catch that other side <laughs> of the right on cue yeah it, coming out here looking like the knicks giving us a surprise and actually making us smile so that is something that is a great job I'm gonna catch that hit and honestly, I think I fight, fighting Wii Fit is something that is so painful as the match progresses because early stocks, it's kind of okay. You can play around deep breathing and stuff, but at the end, they got KO pressure significantly higher than you do, even as Mario, who's super consistent. So you can see it's actually going to get a bit stressful as this clock like goes and wears thin. For Jake to kind of push the initiative and find that stock before like J-Ray just gets to a spot where he could keep making them uncomfortable on approach right and we see like the rushdown tactics and you are going to air dodge right into up smash and like mm -hmm. come on bro like you said you don't want to be above mario his head forehead way too big and watch these projectiles at the later percents right mario does have the cape so you can circumvent that whole you know projectile pressure if need be although you it's kind of like you know standard because you know you need the sun salutation you need the deep breathing and things like that to really get things going with we fit but uh if you're just gonna get back flipped on i thought we fit was the one who knew the gymnastics Oh my God! And Mario with the backflip. Oh, okay. Oh my the God! This man, this man is looking for that deep meta view clip right there. He's like going deep, trying to put the pressure on, trying to get some smiles on the board to make people go, "Damn, I hate Mario!" Oh. Just like we fit that forward smash is gonna send him flying to the other side. Okay, just gonna uh, just walk up and walk up and grab. Okay, I respect it. More it's fireballs on the way. <laughs> yeah, for real. Like, don't respect him. Make him earn. Straight up. <laughs> Especially right now. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, you better watch out. Those drop down nair strings. Luckily, deep breathing wasn't there. But drop down nair is one of the best combo openers that we've got. And you have to dodge that. You need to play anti air game right now. Air to air trades. Be willing to do it. Because now you got J Ray at this situation where you could just run right up to him. Put the other side of the wedding uh, suit on the other end. You got a wedding to get to, my dude. That is game number one going to Jake. Yeah, that that zoom in on Mario's head is is grotesque. I ain't gonna front, bro. So it's pretty nasty. You know, it's it's, it's what like very, there? very, very, very huge, bro. And to get, I know there's a lot of air in that hat. Like there, they can't be all head or candid. But anyway, uh, yo, this yo, man, yo, uh, yo, what's yo, up? I, I just I just got thrown off by something. That ending victory stance from Mario got me hearing in my head. What you trying to get into? Mm. The way he got his fist back there. This man is. <laughs> <laughs> 
What's up, man? The reception man, yo, is over. Where's the after party, bro? Yeah, this red shirt guy hiding in plain sight, man. But yo, so after that first game, right? After what you saw, how Jake was able to handle the game, he he had a lot of good anti air pressure. He was really like just kind of dealing with any time J Ray tried to get off the ground. What's the approach you like to see out of J Ray going into game two? J Ray has to find a way to throw Jake off his game. Like we saw Jake get a lot of just opportunities to get these air combos going, which is very, very good for Mario. What's going to be good for Wii Fit is to get an early lead and just start to camp it out. Because, of course, that's where mm -hmm. Wii Fit's strengths lie. If Wii Fit is able to just get the pressure started and kind of put the game in their favor, put the game at their pace, it might work out a little better for J Ray. But right now, Jake, okay, the smart pick, right? We're going to Smashville. We, we want to stay away from <laughs> Yoshi's Island. <laughs> don't, don't, don't be that person to take you, Mario, oh, to Yoshi's Island. Oh, he's dead. Oh, good. Okay, so he got, he got away just enough. He got pushed far enough away with the up air and even right there a little bit too low so you see jake he's looking for that fall down up air so he can immediately can confirm into that forward air it's a small window it's not it's not guaranteed by any means but if you catch a mix up on di or you catch somebody jumping too quick that's the start i know that macro for for jumping up air for I mean, for up air has to be broken i know that macro has to be just ruined on his controller because that is literally what jake has been going for but it's been paying off for him 77 percent but the volleyball into up air conversion to the up smash barely i barely barely threw the plat oh my Defense goodness only want one thing and it's disgusting deep breathing up smash is so strong and that sweet spot of that forward smash is a quick way to get us to shut up jake answer her right back i'm loving it these two are scrapping here in game two and it is a significantly different pace compared to game one yeah, Jake says, look, look, bro, the, the, the Minecraft Steve isn't the, the worst thing that you have to worry about. I, I I I I was one of the premier Marios in this country. Don't forget it. So here it is. Mm -hmm. Tell you, man, this like yeah, the artist is formerly known as JTJ. That Bowser and that Mario were doing work before. That Steve showed up and really put in a lot of work too. But this character covers those weird matchups. I like this so far. It's doing exactly what we expected. There's no there's no ability to stay back. There's no ability to set up because in the Steve matchup, you would have gotten that time. But Mario, though, absolutely not. Yeah, the matchup spread for Mario was just, just way, 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 way better. So, and as we see it here, 93 on J Ray right now. He having a very hard time just eating every up air and back air that Mario has. And look, the zoning, not the zoning, but the, the, the spacing from the back air, excuse me. Trying yeah. to catch a roll read. And now we're just going for stuff. All right, oh well. Hey, you know what? J Ray did exactly what I was hoping he would do. Oh, the up smash is gonna take him out again. I wanted to see J Ray find center stage, get some control because ledge isn't working right now. You're getting yes. beat out by short hop back here. It's too quick. Now you better watch out because oh, you're getting pushed away. He's gonna drop off. Oh, this man, uh -oh. this man hunting for blood does not get the second flood though. Trying to wash away that stock, trying to make you go straight to the showers. But this is somehow still in it. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm trying to end it. <laughs> Well, Jake says, I know, like, I, I know many of you is watching, so let me get one of these clips in. I'm, I'm loving the aggression coming out right now. The weight! Oh, trying to get the pivot grab, not going to be able to get it here. But this is the type of stuff that you go for when you're a stock up, right? When you're a stock up, yeah. let it all hang out. Go for the fancy combos. Why not? You have a stock to give, and if you don't, you just accumulate the damage, which is what's happening now. J-Ray uh, might want to see an aerobic instructor after this one getting stressed out by Mario. Oh, no, the down smash. Oh, yeah. He said it. I was about to say you gotta see first, first you gotta see the chiropractor, but now you gotta see the corner. That that is that, that's a dead body right there. I don't know what J Ray's gonna do. I I, I wanna see this man rise on the next Sunday. I wanna see him come back, but J this is looking rough. I mean, you got when, when you get Nick District talking in the chat, talking about the fact that this matchup is a kind of stress, you know, you know that this has got some facts behind it. Yeah, I know Jake we have, must have potatoes for dinner, bro, because the mash from this man, a little too powerful, bro. This man did down smash and then an immediate forward smash after that. But like I said, bro, go ahead and challenge it. Why not? You can't, you can't like, give, like, everybody respect. You yeah. got to, like, make, you got to make them earn it. You got to disrespect them, right? Yep, you know I, I agree with that. I, so, I, like, because like, if, you, if you keep playing on this, like, they're always going to expect it. It's like, nah, bro. Exactly. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Live and die by that phrase, especially when it comes to fighting games. If somebody can't deal with the things that you're pointing out there, just putting out a lot of really easy, safe aerials that are going to lead to openers on combos, just running up short hop up air is a quick check to, okay, did you decide to try and sun salutation in my face?
Did you decide to try and jump away because you thought I was going to grab you because Mario gets so much off of grabs? And it just continues to get worse and worse. And I'm not even trying to just keep, like, like bashing on J-Ray. I want to see J-Ray make the run back. Don't get, like, don't get me wrong. But it's just, you could see that Jake really just has the idea behind this matchup, like, locked down. And it's on J-Ray to play completely different going into this next game. See, I like the stage pick though, right? Because like it just gives you no know, Wii Fit Trainer just a, a tiny bit more space, but the platforms are always gonna be just the bane of like, you know, most matchups existence when you play Mario, right? He just gets so much off the platform, but challenging the forward smash with the back air. Okay, he's not dead. Look at the I platform mean, reset, not gonna get it here. Like the back air though, but 95% lead. I mean, 95% deficit on Jake right now. Like, look, geez. we already know Mario's a plumber, also a doctor, and apparently he's a tour guide, too, because he's taking him on a whole trip throughout the entirety of Animal Crossing's village right now. Town and City is just being shown directly to J-Ray, but here you go. Finally finds a quick opening. Doesn't get the... I like that. The down air almost covered the air dodge. It didn't get it, but this damage is starting to add up. Man has some titanium set to run directly Bro, at you Mario. Right? <laughs> <laughs> when you run directly at Mario uh, at kill percent like that, but hey... And you know what? Jay coming right back to you too. <laughs> I saw that man walk up and try to grab him. I said, bro, like he's in the middle of smash attacking right now. You see? <laughs> but that's the type of risk you got to take when you're down, you know, two games. And here we are. Like you see it paying off a little bit and you are that, that option was great. Just a jump. Cause like you try to challenge that man with any move, he was definitely going for another attack. And the flood trying to wash away your problems, not gonna happen here. The cape, not going for the ledge jump off the back air. The down air, not gonna kill 164. You got the rage, what you gonna do with it? Try to establish, oh, 40 Even to with the, the oh, oh my God, this man just, all right, all right, all right, look. Spot dodge into anything is something that needs to be fixed. That's all I'm gonna say. But also, this down air, just continuing to follow him. And I like the wait and see approach now. You see Jake put on a lot of quick swings, right? So what do you normally do after that? A lot of people keep pushing. Nah, he waited for the defensive option out of J-Ray there. Luckily for J-Ray, he chose the right one. But J-Ray, J-Ray need to put an entire gauze on this, stop the bleeding, do exactly like that, find these openings and get that lead back. I like and I like the like Ooh. I said he's controlling the pace of it right now getting the ledge and that option to get back on the ledge the nair going for the forward smashes right we see the spacing coming out right now for Jake Jake what's the move here oh a little jab to check uh I'm really scared when he when he's just meandering around like Jerry right there I'm thinking like okay a smash attack has to be on the way Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Once you start getting to this point, especially when you get around the 90% right here, you're going to be looking for those smashes soon and those down airs. They're great anti-airs. They're a good job to just be able to control somebody in the frame data. It's just so good for Mario in a lot of these situations. J-Ray, though, he's finding his small openings. He's got deep breathing on deck. He's got the kill potential. Can he find it if he can maybe catch him on a jump call with an uh, up air? Hey, it looks like he was maybe looking for it right there after getting hit by that back air, but he's getting pressured again. Yeah, I like the hop over, uh, hop over the sun salutation for the back air, right? And he's uh, starting to look figure, uh, figure him out a little bit. And the down air going to take it so far. J Ray still down one stock, but it's not out of the woods for him yet. The Jake does have that high percentage, so you know forward tilt, little, uh, little up air might be able to get the advantage here. But oh no, not the grab. I saw it coming a mile away, and he's yeah, jumping he's for joy on. Doesn't connect with the nair, trying to get. Oh no! Oh my god. Jake is kind of caught on. He see he knows that he sees blood. He's looking for that F till he's just trying to find that one answer. But Jake is camping and shield in his face. Literally for fourth time in a row. He has run right up and shield in his face. And you know what? No, no throw is gonna kill you there. There's no deep breathing on deck. It's town and city. You're not dying off of any type of throw. So what's the issue with running up a holding shield? Absolutely nothing. Yeah. And it's just the what the one thing that's kind of hurting like we fit training in this matchup is like the out of shield options, right? Mm -hmm. And the back throw definitely gonna take it. All right, so Jake, uh, three zero. J Ray gonna be heading uh, down the losers. So next up uh, in winners finals, right? We're gonna have uh, Jake versus Wrath. And shout out to Jake not getting it done with the Minecraft Steve, but getting it done with the try.